Time for a juice review. Welcome back to another episode of Vitruvian Vapors. Today, we're reviewing some liquid. This is Iron Forge. So Iron Forge is a new up-and-coming juice company that I think a lot of stores are going to have on their shelves very soon. Uh, this stuff is really good. It's really good. Uh, and it's based uh, locally here out of uh, Sevierville, Tennessee, um, Knoxville area. So um, <clears throat> I'm thinking a lot of the stores around here will probably have it first. But uh, this is my personal bottle. Okay, I went ahead and purchased a, a 120 mil of my favorite flavor out of this. Um, but we're going to jump into it. And uh, we're going to go over these little samples that they sent me. Uh, these are little 5 mil samples, and uh, they've got their little labels and names on them and everything. They're all 3 milligrams, so we'll be able to talk about their nicotine level. And uh, basically, we're going to do it to it. So, without further ado, let's jump in, huh? huh? First on the docket is my personal favorite. This is Hammer. Hammer is a uh, green apple. It's just like a sour apple flavor. And uh, it has got a very strong scent to it. It smells exactly how you would expect it to smell taste on the finger exactly how you would expect it to taste on the finger and I can say this from my personal experience it tastes exactly how you would expect it to taste so let's give it a quick vape that is so good it's that green sour apple almost like a Jolly Rancher taste to it I really love this. If you like green apple, if you like sour apple, candy flavors, this is this is what you want. Really, really good flavors, um, and uh, it, it packs a punch. I want to say it's an 80-20 blend. Um, it, this is marked as a three milligram. This is also a three milligram, uh, and they hit consistently. Um, this one was made in a different batch than this was. I, I purchased this bottle to try it out. And then ended up asking the guy, you know, if you, you know, asking if he wanted me to do a review. So, and he was all about it. He loved the idea. So he sent me some samples and I'm, I'm pretty much damn certain these come from a different batch and the nicotine is on point. It is consistent across the board. So I'm extremely pleased with their nicotine uh, and the way they do it. And it seems like pretty high grade stuff. <clears throat> Iron Forge has got this um, persona. Okay. This is their, their theme is that everything is, you know, it's, it's hammer and anvil. It's very uh, blacksmith, okay? Uh, it's got that, that steel, you know, feel to it. I don't know how well you can see the label, but, I mean, it's, it's very very brick and mortar, very iron, you know? It's a very cool, very cool theme. I don't think I've seen, I haven't seen anybody do it yet. There's a lot of, you know, dark themes, gothic themes, um, you know, all kinds of weird different styles out there, but this is the first I've seen that actually went with that you know, medieval times, uh, dark ages, um, blacksmith, I guess that's how you would put it, type theme. So I'm very impressed with their overall uh, theme. I guess that's a good word. We're going to go with that. Let's move on. Next out of the fire, <laughs> see what I did there? Next out of the fire is ore. Ore is a blue raspberry. And I have yet to try this flavor. I'm excited to give it a try. It's got a, a bluish tint to it, so I'm assuming, you know, uh, it color matching. It's blue. All right. Hammer was green. It's got that green apple taste. Or is it blue raspberry? And it's blue. Imagine that. All right. So I cleared off my cotton as best I could. And now we're going to drip some of this. Or. Or blue raspberry. It is a blue rad, blue raspberry Jolly Rancher is the the flavor that they're going for for the description. Mm. 
That's spot on. It really is spot on. I love Blue Raspberry Jolly Ranchers. They're my favorite out of all of the Jolly Ranchers, and it tastes just like a Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. Uh, it is not my favorite flavor on the lineup. Hammer really took the cake, and I was surprised by that. Um, I really thought that the Blue Raspberry, the ore, would take the cake, um, but it's not my favorite, believe it or not. So, um, very good flavor, though. The nicotine is consistent with the last bottle and with my personal bottle. Um, it, it's a nice, smooth nicotine. It's not really, really harsh on your throat. It's a three, um, which is exactly the way a three should be. It should be just enough to where you can feel it, and you can kind of feel it soothing you and giving you that that encompassing warmth but not get that overwhelming harshness and uh they're pretty spot on with it they did a good job so kudos guys kudos very good flavor let's move on to the next one please next up is the fruit blend known as molten are you guys seeing the theme here we've got hammer or molten so uh Obviously, I mean, they're following the theme very well so far. Uh, molten is supposed to be a fruit blend. It is a very dark color. So you guys can see that on the camera. That's dark. It smells good. It smells like berries. It tastes amazing on the finger. Oh, it's got a... Almost, I feel like that's a pomegranate, like a pomegranate kick to it, but we're gonna give it a try. I might have a little bit of blue raspberry still on here, hopefully. Okay, that's dry. So make way for molten. Let's give this a try. Fruity blend. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, it is fruity. You can taste a, a mixture of different fruits, but I'd say there's like, it's very overwhelming. I feel like there's more than three or four different fruits in there. And when you start to add that many different fruits into a, a liquid, I feel like it starts to get kind of overwhelming. Um, there are a few of them out there, not on this line, that they do, uh, they put a lot of fruits in it and it almost gives it like a perfumey taste, almost like they got all of their flavors from like, you know, the Flavor Apprentice or something. Um, that's not what I get out of this. I don't get that overwhelming perfume. I don't feel like I just like inhaled all of the air in the Kohl's perfume department. I feel like it's just a little bit overbearing, you know, too much fruit at one time. Like I'm trying to scarf down an entire fruit salad with a huge mixture of different fruits. I would never eat a fruit salad, by the way. I don't get to this shape by eating fruits, okay? But I do love fruity vapes. This one, not, not as much. Good, good flavor. I think a lot of people will be very pleased with it if you really like fruits. Um, but for me, it's just a little bit over the top. I can taste, let's go back through it. I, I'm pretty sure I tasted pomegranate, but I could be completely on crack. And it's really hard to say. A bunch of different fruits in there. Maybe it could be that I have a little bit of the hammer left on there from earlier. I'm getting a little bit of apple. Um, maybe a little bit of raspberry, but that could be the ore that's left on there as well. Um, I, I want to say pomegranate, but I just don't think there's really pomegranate in it. Um, maybe some berries, uh, but I'm not really 100% sure. It is a good flavor. I'd say it's definitely not my favorite out of the lineup. You guys know my favorite is Hammer already, uh, but it is a good flavor. Um, I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 6. Okay, It's an all-day vape for me, absolutely. Just not something that... Uh, I would consider, you know, balls to the wall premium, badass flavor. It's just not there for me, but still a good flavor. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Flavor is Damascus. Uh, it is a mountain berry custard. I'm excited to try that one. Let's clear this thing off real quick. Okay, that's dry. Oh, fuck. That's dry. We should definitely get the flavor out of this one. Damascus. Also very dark. Very, very dark. Um, it has become extremely apparent to me that these guys, uh, they like to add a little bit of food coloring. And, uh, you know, I, I don't mind it so much. I used to. I used to really give a shit about people adding food coloring to their liquids. Um, if I saw even just the, the slightest hint that somebody added food coloring, I'd be like, no, fuck that juice. But um, I've grown up a little bit. And uh, I realize it's not all that bad. 
Um, and some juices I know whenever you buy the flavors, these flavors come from a manufacturer with, with food coloring in them. And they do that so they could track them through a warehouse. You get some stuff from Flavor West, Flavor Art, Cabela's, and they have coloring in them. It's just the way it is. But, I mean, this is apparent. Okay, this to me is obvious that there is some added food coloring. And I, I feel like the attempt is there is to, you know, make it look cool. You know, to, to kind of give those, those flavors that, you know, appeal. But I feel like it's unnecessary. You know, I feel like, uh, in my opinion... It's unnecessary. I'm not knocking these guys. I'm not saying that they're, they're doing a bad job because so far the flavors are good. You know, the flavors are, are definitely good. Um, but I just wish that they would knock that out. Not so much coloring. You know, give give you know, give somebody a chance. You know, <laughs> let them look at it and let them try the flavor. Don't try to pull them in with the color. To me, that's, that's to me it's over marketing. I don't know if that's a thing, but fuck it. Let's just get onto it. Uh, Damascus Mountain Berry Custard. Purple. It's a very dark purple. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Oh, you can taste the berries. There's some blueberry. Um, there's some... Meh. Whew, it's hard to say. Blueberry, raspberry, I mean, just different kinds of berries, I think. Um, unless there is such thing as a mountain berry. I've never heard of a mountain berry, but hey, I'm new to Tennessee. I've only been here a couple years, so, you know, if there is such thing as a mountain berry, somebody take me out so I can pick some mountain berries, because that shit's good. I can't really taste the custard too much. It tastes more of just like a fruity blend. I don't really get too much of that custard. I'm um, getting a lot of berry, though. I get some creaminess. And maybe that creaminess is that custard that they're describing. But as far as actual custard, you know, everybody, when you think custard, you think buttery. You think, you know, that real legitimate uh, granny's custard type taste, you know. But I don't get that. I get cream. That's what I get. So berries and cream. Um, good flavor. Again, uh, I think maybe there's some grape in there. That'd be nice. Um, Maybe that's where they get this purple color from. It's hard to find a grape that doesn't actually have purple in it, so uh, that could be very possible. That's where that coloring came from in this flavor. Um, good flavor. It does not, to me, it doesn't really match up with its profile description, um, but it is very good. If you like a good berry blend, I'd say go for that. That is good. And again, the nicotine is on point through all of these. They are doing a very good job with their nicotine. I say that their mixing quality is on point. They're doing a very good job. I'm not disappointed at all. The only complaint that I have, really, is the food coloring. And that's kind of a small complaint. I'm probably one of the only people in the world that actually finds that as a big issue. And I don't, like I said before, I don't really think of it as that much of an issue anymore. So let's move on to the next one. We're about to get into some ice cream flavors. It's kind of exciting. Here we go. Next up is Rivet. Rivet is a cookies and cream ice cream. That's my favorite ice cream. No lie. Like, there's no ice cream out there I'd rather have than cookies and cream ice cream. If you come to me and you bring me two ice creams and you say, hey, do you want this or this? I mean, it could be anything. It could be birthday cake ice cream. It could be pecans and whatever. I mean, like butter pecan. I like that ice cream. I really do. But cookies and cream takes the cake every time. When I go to McDonald's, I always get a Oreo McFlurry. Obviously, I'm a fucking fat ass, but... Cookies and cream is my favorite, so I am ex extremely excited to try this flavor, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Cookies and cream ice cream, that's a really hard flavor to master, so we can hope for the best. Let's clear this thing off. <clears throat> oh, can you hear it? Can you hear it? That's definitely dry. You can hear that cotton toasting. The coil's trying to wind down. I hate that burnt cotton taste. It's like oh, it's like inhaling a campfire, licking a tire. All right. Rivet. Cookies and cream ice cream. Here we go. Chocolate. I'm definitely getting some chocolatey. You know, it kind of reminds me of a flavor I've had recently. Oh, what was that? Oh, Dapper Gander. I did a review on that recently. 
uh, and it had that that malted gooseballs, and it was the, that chocolatey cocoa flavor, and that's what I'm getting out of this. I'm getting a lot of that chocolate. There's definitely some cream in there. Um, I like it. That's an all-day vape for me. It's not one of those, you know, I want to vape this all the time, but I could vape it, you know, for a 24-hour period, maybe even a little bit longer before getting burned out and needing to switch it up with some fruit or something. Very good flavor. I am, uh, I'm impressed. And the color is not all that bad. It's like this kind of like a brownish color, so it's not... At least it's not, you know, neon pink or something. So, good flavor. Nicotine is on point, just like the rest of them. Yeah, it's good, man. It doesn't kill me to vape it. I like it. Not bad. Good job, guys. That, that's probably the closest I've found to an actual cookies and cream ice cream. If there's somebody out there that thinks that they have found the perfect cookies and cream ice cream vape, you better let me know and send it to me to try out. I will review the shit out of that. But this is good. I don't think I'm going to find one that trumps this one. At least not for a while. Cookies and cream, like I said, it's hard to do. They did a good job. Alright, moving on. Dub is another ice cream flavor. This is vanilla ice. The only one so far that doesn't really follow the theme. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe they just couldn't come up with a good name for it. Or maybe they just wanted to add a little bit of something kind of special. Maybe he's just a big vanilla ice fan. You know? Um, I feel like one hit wonders. All right. So this was called vanilla ice and I, it makes sense. It's a vanilla ice cream. Well, let's give it a try. It's got that yellowy color. So follows the vanilla. It smells good. It almost smells like orange. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's menthol in there. That's spearmint. Right on my tongue. Kind of a, maybe we put that menthol in there to try and give it that cold ice cream texture. Let's see how it vapes. It's always different on the tongue. Here we go, big hit. Ooh, that does not taste like vanilla ice cream. That tastes like vanilla mint. It's good. I never would have thought vanilla and mint would go well together, but that's actually not bad. I don't like menthol, ever, at all, really. I don't do menthol, but especially not on a dripper. Especially not with nicotine. But that's pretty good. But I'm not going to call it a vanilla ice cream. Pretty sorry, guys. Not a big fan. Not bad, but not a big fan. It does not at all follow the flavor description at all. Uh, vanilla ice cream, you know, I've never, I've never bitten into vanilla ice cream and tasted like I was eating an Andy's mint, um, spearmint gum. That's kind of what I get out of it. Vanilla spearmint gum. It's good. If you like mint and you like to have a little bit of flavor to your mint, try this. Okay. Definitely give this a try. Try out vanilla and mint. That's surprisingly good. Um, but it's, don't be, don't follow the description because it is not vanilla ice cream. So let's go on not least cold steel this one does follow the flavor description or like you know it does follow the the whole theme you know uh, unlike the last one but cold steel i saved this one for last because it's the one that i am dreading the most <clears throat> it is a straight menthol and it is i've actually tried this flavor before he brought it into my shop and uh he let me try it it is intense it is an intense menthol so be prepared to see me make some funny faces because I'm not a big fan of menthol. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this before I try this flavor. He was supposed to uh, send me a missing one on the on the, the docket. It was supposed to have an anvil. Anvil was another flavor, but I didn't end up getting that one with my samples. Instead, I got two rivets. So um, I think maybe there was a mistake somewhere or maybe rivet and anvil have the same color and they just accidentally put the same the, the label on there wrong. But I've got it off over here to the side, and after I try, try this one, I'm going to try the second rivet. And uh, maybe maybe it's just labeled wrong, but I'm going to give that a try here in a second. I'm hoping I'm hoping that's all that happened, because I would really like to give the orange dreamsicle uh, a try, because that is what Anvil is described as, is an orange dreamsicle. But for right now, we're doing the cold steel, and that is a <sighs> fucking menthol. Holy shit. Just smelling it, my sinuses are all cleared up. All right, 
Cold Steel. Good name. Really good name. Oh, sinuses. Did my beard do that weird thing just now? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cold Steel. Holy shit. I can tell you right off the bat exactly what that is. That is like solid wintergreen and spearmint. That'll clear you the fuck out. It makes breathing cold for a minute. Every breath I take in, it's like ice on my lungs, my throat. It's like that feeling you get after you like suck on a couple of cough drops and you breathe and like the warm air gets just like so cold on your throat. But you know what? It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. You know what? It's one of the it's a it's a menthol I would date. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's why I like this line. You know, I, it's not it's not in my opinion the best line in the world, but uh, I like it because I don't really hate any of the flavors. And they're all really good. And they're all really on point. And the nicotine is consistent as fuck. And the labels look cool as well. This is a one twenty. They actually come in a 30 mil glass, from what I understand, but I, I go balls to the wall. If I get a bottle of something, I usually buy a big bottle because I vape a lot. So, yeah, and that's a cool label. It's a clear label, almost like the pinup style labels, and then, you know, you can see the the color of the liquid behind it. So, let's see if I can see clear label. Yeah, anyway, let's stop wasting time. Let's keep vaping. I'm just going to dry all this off, and then we're just going to go ahead and try this flavor and see if it comes out as rivet or if it comes out as anvil. Okay, let's dry. Just test it real quick. Hopefully this comes out as anvil and it's just mislabeled. Oh, I think that's the case. Let's find out. Damn, that cold steel, man, that'll, that'll cleanse your fucking palate. No, that's cookies and cream. Unless my palate's not cleansed and just damaged. I still get nothing but menthol and a little bit of something else in there. Hmm, let's just keep vaping. No, that is. That's Anvil. That is what that is. That's an orange creamsicle, and that is good. So that was just mislabeled. That's all. They look very similar in color, so I think that's probably what happened, is they just labeled it as a rivet, but it's an Anvil, and that is good. I think... Damn, it's so hard to say. That that cold steel, that really, that really fucks with you for a second. That's an intense, intense menthol. I'm pretty sure that's orange cream though. It's got an aftertaste that'll kind of throw you off. It's almost like warm and desserty. It's probably that cream coming through on that creamsicle, but on the inhale, I'm getting I'm getting orange. I'm almost almost certain of it. So I'm gonna say that that's a pretty good one. I'd say um, with my fucked up taste buds, I'm gonna call that a six out of ten. All the rest were uh, really good. My favorite, as you can as you know, is Hammer which I got 120 of that, and I'm going to drip that now to try and <clears throat> cleanse everything else off. And uh, we're going to take this extremely long review and end it. That's good. That green apple is awesome. Very happy. So, out of all of them, they're very, very delicious. Um, there's a handful of them that I'm not super fond of, um, but for the most part, they are all very good. They all scored over a 5. Um, I think the lowest I found on the, the scale, 1 to 10, would be a 6. And uh, I think that was the Molten or the Damascus. And the Rivet wasn't that great, but it was okay for cookies and cream. The Vanilla Ice I did not like, but still for a Vanilla Menthol, I was really surprised at how much I actually did you know, not hate it. So I'd still rate it at about a five. So <clears throat> all in all, good flavors, good line, good theme, 
good job. Okay, nicotine was on point the whole way through. I don't feel myself craving nicotine right now, and I don't feel my throat, you know, hurting. Uh, I'm not finding it hard to speak, so I'm not dizzy, I'm not swimming, so I am overall pretty impressed. The only the only advice I have for the guys at Iron Forge, it's personal opinion. Take it or leave it. Take it how you will. Lay off the food coloring. This is, I mean, that is, that is really, really that that's cold steel. That is bright blue. You don't have to make your colors so appealing. If the juice is good, it'll sell itself. You know, that, that dark, that green, you know, it's cool. I get it. It's really cool. I know another company that does the same thing um, and they sell well, but you know what? I don't think it's the colors that sell. I think it's the flavor in my opinion. Um, so just, you know, leaving you with that guys, definitely try these flavors out. You can hit them up. I'm pretty sure they have a Facebook page and I'm pretty sure they have a website, ironforge.com or just Google ironforge e-liquid and it should take you to them. Um, and I don't know if they're already doing orders or if they're already putting their juice in stores. I don't know what the game plan is. I got to them right at the beginning of the cusp of their creation. So you might have to wait a little bit of a while, uh, a while before you can actually get their flavors, but hit them up, give them a try. Their flavors are, they're good. They're, they're definitely good. Um, I have high hopes for these guys. I think that, you know, it won't be long and it won't be too hard of a battle and they'll be finding themselves in a handful of stores um, all across the country. So, impressed. I'll leave it at that. Deuces.